can't kiss you. They can't kiss you? They can do everything else, but they can't kiss you. So if you ask him to kiss you and he says no, then you know he's a cop? Yep. What did you get arrested for? Prostitution. <laughs> Prostitution. What made you go out today for the first time and decide you wanted to solicit? I heard it was easy money, and some girl I met was like, you got it. And I was like, I got this. And did you Never make any money? Never listen to randoms, ever. <laughs> <laughs> did you make any money? No, sadly not. Not even a penny? my first car, and I was oh, like, I you should probably not try it again. I think I'm just going to stick to retail jobs. Yes, <laughs> that's a good idea. All right, step on the way here for me. Want to tell us how they caught you? I got into a car because he had a really cool accent. He had a cool accent? Yeah. What kind of accent do you know? A really big. He's really cool. He was a good actor. That guy that brought you in here? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> OK, head through the doorway, third row, right hand side, OK? Have a seat. I guess she probably didn't realize that these officers are good at their job, and I think she underestimated how easy it was to get caught out there on the strip doing what she was doing. When's the last time you were here? Um, about a month ago. A month ago? Maybe. You're here for trespassing, solicitation? Solicitation. Mm. How long have you been doing that? Too long. Too well, long? No, I was, I was uh, had my record was clean for 10 years. How do you keep getting caught? There's too many of y'all out there. Too many of us? Plus, I forgot what I was doing when I was out there before. You forgot your game? Yeah. Well, yeah. Did I've you have a little... For 10 years. Did you have a little secret to know um, if they were cops? They can't kiss you. They can't kiss you? They can do everything else, but they can't kiss you. So if you ask him to kiss you and he says no, then you know he's a cop? Yep. But did you talk about money? No, he did. You did? Yeah. Tell me to kiss you. Oh. No, kiss you on. Oh, my gosh. All right, go out there and see medical. Third row. Yeah. Just wanted some money to eat and ran into vice. Guess what? You're both here for the same thing. Really? But it's your first time. Yes, my first and hopefully last time. And it's ever. not her first time. How many no. times have you been here? Too many times to count. And you never learn. Like I want to be done. What's well, good? You just don't want to be out there, baby girl. Please don't go out there. This is my last, first and last time. Because I'm sitting here like I could have been in bed reading my book. Rosalinda, when you went out tonight, were you looking to play the game or? I was looking to just see like what the big deal was, I guess. About soliciting? Yeah, because everybody's like, it's fast money, voot de voo, this and that, and I'm like. Fast money? Does your friend that you live with do this? No. Okay. She would kill me if she found out I was doing this. Rhonda, what made yeah. you do it the first time? What made me do it the first time? My boyfriend. He made you do it? At that time. Yeah. So called boyfriend and parents. Mm -hmm. So now I hope you had your taste of it, and that's all you're going to do. Yeah, I really don't want to do this tomorrow. <laughs> It's not a good look for you, the chains. It's not. It's not a good look for you. Go home. Could yeah. you go back home? I kind of had a pick between boyfriend or family, and I went the stupid route, and it bit me in the ass. So you don't think your family would forgive you and want you back? No, they told me they don't forgive No, they will. Be honest with them. Let them know what you did and say, can I please come home? I don't want to be out here. Don't let your pride get in the way. Tell them you're sorry that you want to come home. Rhonda, I really appreciate you talking to her for, for me, OK? That was awesome. Not a lot of people would do that in here. Appreciate that. Well, somebody's got to. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll check on you in a little bit, OK? You mentioned something to me, and I just wanted to make sure I had it clear. You know, she started crying, and she told me that this pimp pulled her out. She didn't want to go out there, but this pimp pulled her out, and she's got marks on her neck. So she already has she been... She told me not to tell nobody, but I had to tell her. So she's already been picked up by a pimp. That hurt my heart when she said that. Yeah. She's going to go right back out there. Yeah. I may notice those, and I may ask her how she got them. OK, but I'm not going to rat you out, OK? All right, Rhonda, thank you. <laughs> Rosalinda, right over here. He's going to take your picture. We have to move your hair out of the way. Move it out of the way. What are these marks? Is that marks right here? Let me see. That's marks. Has somebody been strangling you? No. 
What is that? It looks like a scratch or something. What happened? You can tell me. Nothing. Are you working for a pimp? No, God, no. Are you not sure? That low. Yes. I'm not. I'm not saying it would make you low. I'm no. saying it was a, you're an inexperienced 22 year old girl. No, I sure hope you're not. Okay, you've been charged with soliciting prostitution. Your bill is a thousand dollars. Oh my God! This is yours. Keep it. This is your first time here, yes? Yeah. Okay. Good luck to you, young lady. And Rosalinda, get away from that pimp. It's so not worth it. I can tell by the way you're looking at me that I'm right. All right? Go grab a seat, first couple row. Go sit with Rhonda. She's right there. Hopefully, I got the message through to her. Go back home, go to school, do what she do, what normal 22-year-olds do. What a shame. What a mess I got myself in. 